this is Content Leap Designs. I'm here with my fam, Nati and Byron. Um, we are recording chapter three video summary coming to you with creativity techniques. Okay, so what we're going to be discussing in this video is basically different um, techniques that you can use to take ideas and have a creative outlook on them. Um, okay, so what we're going to be doing is going to have um, Nati and Byron which are, they're going to be doing the association technique. Um, sorry, Nati, tell us a little bit about the association okay, technique. Okay, so the association technique is going to be explained way more in our video, but uh, it's basically using what you got to solve a problem and also trigger creativity. So what we made in this one, what you used, it's going to appeal to students, and uh, we don't have any copyright on it, so feel free and have some fun, eh? Have a lack of jam. Awesome. <laughs> Excuse the pun. <laughs> <laughs> So basically what we did with association was taking two very unrelated uh, products or things and combining them to fulfill a need. So what we took was um, an empty vessel, a, a tub of protein, because we like to get dax, and we took a phone where the music was coming out of and we basically combined the two and used a little bit of science in terms of echoes and all that and reverb to fulfill our needs. And this is how association techniques are used and our triggers for creativity. And then we have the second one where I take part in it. And the second one is the wishful thinking technique. Whereas you take all limits which have been placed on problem solving and you remove them from the equation so you can think of whatever it is. If you, your problem is you don't have a unicorn, you can imagine one. That's basically what wishful thinking is. Someone who's lazy doesn't want to get up. We might have to be a bit creative this way. Well, I guess we are surrounded by technology, and technology these days does surpass our average thoughts. So, I'm sure there's something I can do with my cell phone to make the lights turn on. Hey, look, there's an app. And we have light. So the creative technique that you guys just saw happen now is called wishful thinking. Wishful thinking is basically seeing a problem that you have, but in solving it, you don't give yourself any limits. You take all limits away from the solution that you, that you give to it, such as when I turned on the light for my willpower. That's giving no limits to the solution, so you let yourself be as creative as possible. The third creative technique is the force field technique. And um, not like st Star Wars with like Luke Skywalker and all that. I am your father. Really? Yeah. Oh, okay, cool. Okay, <laughs> but the force field technique is basically um, finding the forces that are behind the problem and removing those forces from the equation. That's how you solve the problem. And we will be seeing how Byron um, pretty much addresses this situation. Well, yeah. students listen up as well. <laughs> yeah, this is a tip for all of you. 
especially that group that always sit at the back. <laughs> this is for you guys. Especially. Yeah. Nah, bro. Got my H two O today. So for our last creativity technique, what we experienced last night and what we saw was that with the excessive partying, it was, it was Byron who decided to drink and the next morning when he woke up, he was feeling absolutely horrible. Proper, proper, proper bubble ass. So the problem there was waking up the next morning after a party and feeling like shit and not being able to do anything. Whereas Natsu, on the other hand, also partied excessively, but he drank water the whole day and did not feel like shit the next day. He got, he got up and he was ready to work and tackle the day. So this is called the force field creativity technique. What it means is you find the forces behind the problem, which are creating the problem, and you solve the problem by taking those forces and, and changing those forces. So the force behind the problem in the beginning was with Byron was the alcohol while partying. I mean, Nazi did it without alcohol and didn't feel the shit the next day. So the problem was the alcohol. Remove the alcohol from the equation and still have excess of partying like Nazi did. And you wake up the next day feeling strong. That's why H2O is the way to go. that way yeah perfect okay cool black eyes in the way yeah man we have this oreo yeah we didn't think how we started this <laughs> ready press record yeah oh, 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 oh. small map yeah. and yeah. La ladies grant's yeah. number is 08 08 <laughs> oh, <eight>. what <laughs> Oh All of them. Okay. <laughs> 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 <laughs>